Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be solving problem 1 on Project Euler. It states that if we list all the natural numbers below 10 that are multiples of 3 or 5, we get 3, 5, 6, and 9. The sum of these multiples is 23 for the base case. Find the sum of all the multiples of 3 or 5 below 1000. The issue with this problem has to do with duplicates because the multiples of 3 would be 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15, and the multiples of 5 would be 5. 10 and 15. The problem is that 15 is a multiple of 3 and 5, so we have to find a way to take out one of the duplicates. Okay, so we're not far ado, let's go ahead and actually code this problem. I'm going to go ahead and just set up a project IntelliJ idea so it doesn't take much time, and I'll be back. So I've gone ahead and created a simple class using Java, and uh, we're going to go ahead and just write the code right now. So what I'm going to do here is modulize things by creating uh, methods for it. So I'm going to make this method static. And the return types will be int, and I'm just going to call this brute false because I don't really care about optimization right now. And I want to pass in the parameters that we need for each value. So we need one for five, we need one for uh, three, and we need one for the limit, which could be 10 or 100, depending on um, which one you want to put in. And what we need first to do is we don't want to start our loop at i equals to zero. We want to start it with the smallest number between five and three. So what I'm going to do here is create a variable called min and I'm going to use our math library and use the min method to return the smallest value so I'm just going to pass in M and N here and then what I need to do next is uh, create something for to hold the sum so I'm going to say var sum equals to zero and by the way I'm using Java uh, JDK 10 so uh, var which is a local variable has been added in so you can go ahead and um, use that but if you're using something like 9 or below uh, go ahead and actually change where it says var to int okay and what I'm going to do is create a variable called x here and x is going to start at our min value and then we're going to say x is going to be less than the limit and then uh, we're going to increment uh, x here all right so next we want to do is we want to check if that number divides evenly x divides evenly between three or five so we're going to say if uh, x uh, mod m equal equal to zero that means that it divides evenly or if x mod n equal equal to zero then we know that divides evenly and if it does then that means that uh, the sum uh, would equal i oh x my bad that would equal to x and then what we can do here is we could just return sum okay. and now we have a working solution here and next what I want to do here is write one in functional interface so um, Java 8 would introduce uh, functional programming so I'm going to do something with functional programming because it's a lot more easier with functional because you can see everything in one line. So brute, functional brute false and you're going to take in the same argument so I'll do int m int n and int limit. Okay. So we need the same thing. We need to uh, get our very mean here. And uh, we can use the same thing, the math.min. So just the, just the same solution, uh, different way of uh, implementing it. And what we can do here is just straight up return and use our in stream library here. And we're gonna use uh, the range method. This is gonna go from min all the way to uh, limit exclusive. So it's not gonna add limit to it. And then what we can do here is we can go ahead and filter. All right, so what we wanna do is wanna, whatever we are in our increment state, we wanna use that value to check to see that value mod m equal, equal to zero, or that value, it's gonna go out here and push things down, or that value, so w mod n equal, equal to zero, and if that is true for this filter case, then we're going to go ahead here and actually reduce. Okay, so we're going to go here and reduce. So what reduce does is accumulate the values that we are um, that meets the filter state. Okay, that actually passes the filter state. And what we're going to do is we're going to reduce from zero. And uh, what we're going to do is add use our integer 
wrapper class and use the sum method here. So we're going to sum the values that are part of that stream. Okay. And this will be it. I'm going to go ahead here and just uh, create main right up here. And then we're gonna go ahead and test the results here. So first I'm gonna just call is uh, brute false. And let me, let me just do a S out here. All right, and then uh, let's call uh, brute false here. And let's pass in three, five, and 10. All right, so as you guys can see that at least the base case is right. And then you guys can use the solution here. Let me do a S out one more time. And then I'll use a functional brute false and I'll pass in three, five, and 10. All right, and this answer should be 23 for the base case. Let's show the problem is right. So let's run this. And as you guys can see here, the answer is 23 for both instances. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be doing another tutorial with the same problem, but that uses uh, threads as well. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.